Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to show you how to solve this complex equation. Firstly, we let z squared be equal to w, where w is equal to 8 minus 7i, and we should convert this rectangular form to polar form. To obtain polar form, we should have the form of r cis theta, where r is equal to the modulus of this complex number. So we should have square root of x squared plus y squared. x is 8, so we take square plus y, y is negative 7, but I will simply take 7 squared. Since what we need here is square, so which means that plus or minus not really important. So we should have x squared plus 7 squared, and we should obtain square root of 113. And for theta is the argument, which is arc tangent y divided by x, which is negative 7 divided by 8. When we enter, we can ignore the plus minus sign, which means that we take only the reference anchor. So we should have shift tangent 7 divided by 8, and we should obtain reference anchor about 41.186 degree. And we should refer to this question. What we have here is x is positive while y is negative. Refer to the Cartesian plane. In order to have positive x and negative y, we should have the fourth quadrant. So which means that we should take 360 degree and move back a little bit. And this little bit is the angle that we found. So we have 360 minus answer, and we should obtain 318.814 degree. So which means that W is equal to square root of 113 sees 318.814 degree. Since x squared is equal to w and w is equal to square root of 113 c 318.814 degree, which means that z is equal to 113 to the power of half, since this is square root, times c is 318.814 degree, and the whole thing to the power of of since we have square here and by using the de Morvis law this indicates that we should have two roots so the first root is equal to 113 to the power of half to the power of half which means that we have to the power of 1 over 4 and since this angle should be divided by 2 since we have two roots here so 318.814 814 divided by 2 is equal to 159.407 degree. And if let's say we want to obtain the rectangular form by using this polar form, we can make use of calculator. We have 113 to the power of 1 over 4, and we should first take cos to obtain the real part. So cos with angle 159. 407 degree press equal we obtain negative 3.052 rounded to the nearest three decimal point and we should now change course to sign since we want the imaginary part now so change to sign and press equal so we have positive 1.147i before we proceed to the second root, let's consider if we complete one rotation for a circle, we should have 360 degree. But then we have two roots for this case, which means that this should be shared inferently for two roots. So we should have 180 degree. In other words, every time the angle should increase by 180 degree. So when we add 180 degree for the second root, the angle is supposed to have 159.407 and we add 180 and the result is equal to 339.407 degree and this is the angle for the second root. This implies that that 
2 is equal to 1, 1, 3 to the power 1 over 4. The modulus must be exactly the same for all the roots. And we have 6. The angle should now be 339.407 degree. Also, we can make use of calculator. We just have to press up get back to the previously entered value and we just have to remove the anchor and replace with the second one 339.407 degree press equal we obtain positive 3.052 and for the imaginary part we just have to remove cos and replace with sine for the imaginary part so we obtain negative 1.147i and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you